Hello, everyone. How are you? Um, I'm trying not to be too loud because it is 3.37 in the morning and people are sleeping. I should be sleeping, but obviously I'm not. I'm here talking to you. We're going to talk about a book, which is what we always do, so I don't know why today would be any different. Um, we're going to talk about The 100 by Cass Morgan. I first discovered that this was a thing because a um, TV program, TV channel in Ireland started showing the 100 TV series. Um, I haven't watched it yet, so I don't know what it's like, but I was searching through Amazon then a few days later and it was like, this is a book, and I thought, how interesting. So I thought I'd check it out. So that's what we're going to talk about. Yeah. So, first things first, here's the relay of what happens in the book. Almost did a wrap there. You didn't see that one coming, either did I. Let's move on. The 100 is about um, a world where there has been a nuclear war on Earth, and it is now uninhabitable. No human lives there anymore um and before they all died out a number of them were taken high above the atmosphere to live in a space station where they could try rebuild humanity um and because you know space station you there's not much room um they take crimes extremely seriously because criminals are expendable especially teenage delinquents. So, they have been executing the teenage delinquents to get rid of them, stop them using the resources, but this time they think, hey, instead of just killing these people, how about we make them useful? And they decide to send them to Earth, a hundred of them, hence the 100, send them to Earth and see how long they'll survive, and judge on that whether one day Earth will be inhabited by humans again. And that's what they do. They send a hundred young people to Earth. Among these young people are four, which are your four main characters, and that is Clark, Bellamy, Glass, and Wells. Clark has been sent um, to Earth for the crime of treason, I believe, against the government. Um, Wells has committed a crime in order to go be with the girl that he loves. Bellamy fights his way onto the ship going to Earth so he can be with his sister, and Glass actually escapes the ship before it leaves, so her story is her on the space station still, and her life on the run, really. That's what that's about. Let's go on to thought. This is the fourth time I'm trying to film this because I keep saying am or fidgeting. So my thoughts are as follows. I liked the plot idea. I thought the whole space thing was a really cool idea. I haven't really read much sci-fi, so I was interested to see what that would be like. I found no flaws with the writing style. The, pe the characters were like real people. They had really good developed backstories. The book moves from past day to present day and it does it really smoothly. You are not confused by any of it. Each character is really well defined and separated from the other characters so you don't confuse any of them with the other ones. Uh, one thing that did annoy me about the writing, and I think this might just be me being fussy but it agitated me, when the author would write a character instead of saying he and she she would constantly say their name and for some reason that just grated on my nerves <laughs> i don't know why uh overall i was kind of disappointed with the with the progression of the plot i didn't really feel like anything happened i like my books to have a couple of climaxes um for things to like happen along the way and I just really felt that nothing happened in this book. Even the moments that were clearly meant to be you no know, heart racing and you were really meant to care about the characters, I was just 
not bothered. Um, even like the big reveal at the end, I was just like, Pfft. yeah, grey. Which I was sad about because I had pretty high expectations going into this. Although I did base my expectations off the trailer for the TV show. And I understand obviously books and their adaptions to screen are not always the same. So this might be one of those comparisons of like The Giver, which I hated as a book, but the movie looks pretty decent. Um, I just, I don't know, was, I just didn't think that the 100 was very climactic. Um, I won't be continuing on to the next one, but I mean, if your expectations are lower than mine, or maybe you haven't been tainted by the TV series, I would recommend that you give it a try. I'm sure, judging by the reviews, lots of people enjoyed it. I just, I wasn't one of them. But if you read it and you liked it, I would like to hear, and if you read it and you didn't like it, I would also like to hear. Now, it is four in the morning and I'm going to go to bed, so I will talk to you all later with the next book. Have a good night, I love you, and your faces, and stuff with things, adios amigos, slan.